the eye. To the contrary, no, the eyes have it. I call on members' order of the day number two. Electoral entrenchment of Māori seats amendment bill, first reading. Mr Speaker. Uh, Mr Speaker. I move that the electoral entrenchment of Māori seats amendment bill be now read a first time. I nominate the Māori Affairs Committee to consider the bill. Mr Speaker. He mihi. Te nā koutou ngā mā tāwaka. Te nā hoki koutou ngā memo o tēnei whare. E tuana hau ki te whai kōrero mō taku pire. Ko tae mai ki mua ki te aroaro o te paremata. Ko tae tēnei ki te wā ki te whakature i ngā tūru Māori he tūru motuhake. Mr Speaker, I'm uh, very privileged and very proud to speak uh, in support of uh, this member's bill, which we have a saying, sir, although it is small, this is a, a very small bill, but it is very significant. And, sir, it cuts to the heart of the representation and the status of the Māori seats in this House. Sir, the general seats under the Electoral Act of this Parliament can be overturned or abolished only by a special majority of this House. That's a 75 per cent or more majority of this House. But, sir, the Māori seats can, only, can be abolished by a simple majority. So there is a discrepancy. There is an imbalance there, and my bill, sir, seeks to raise us to an equal standard with the general seats. And that's what this bill is all about. It's a constitutional is issue, sir. We want to ensure that Māori seats are given the same protection as general seats. We have a very proud history of contributions to this parliament, sir. Our Māori seats were created 150 years ago this year, 1867. And if one is to walk in the halls of the ground floor of parliament around by our historic room, Mā Tangirea, one will see all of the many Māori electorate members of parliament that have been through this house and have left an imprint on this house over those 150 years. And, but, sir, we have a colourful history, but one discrepancy remains, and the disparity is that the Māori seats are not afforded the same protection as the general seats. And so I'm reaching out to the House today to correct that imbalance. Let's put things right. Let's put us on an even footing. This is about equality and being treated the same. And I'm um, very, very proud to be uh, speaking to this bill. We have a long history, as I've said, sir, and this is not a new kaupapa. I do want to acknowledge the many modern members of the, in the MMP environment who have put forward similar bills of this nature, but we're unlucky not to get plucked from the, uh, from the ballot. Um, bills in the name of the Honourable Parekura Horomia, the Honourable Mitaridinui, the Honourable Te Ururoa Flavel, all had bills of this nature seeking the equal status and equal protection of our Māori seats with our general seats. And so, sir, this is not a new novel idea. This has long been noted and criticised by many Māori uh, academics of note, and it was even identified by uh, Electoral Commission reports, sir. This discrepancy can be easily fixed, and that's what I'm proposing through this bill. Because, sir, I've said that the Māori seats have a proud 150-year history. And why, why we're here, sir, is because 
We embody the treaty partnership. This is a treaty issue. The Māori seats in Parliament, and there is a colourful history, whether it was blood quantums, separate polling booths, separate polling days, inability to participate in referenda. There has been a whole history in terms of Māori trying to seek recognition and, and equal rights in this House. And, sir, we're here we are in 2018, and there is one disparity that remains, and that is this entrenchment gap, as it is called. And so I'm calling on this House today, sir, to stand for the Constitution, to stand for equal rights, to ensure that we can uh, raise the, the status of the Māori seats to the same as the general seats, sir. Now, sir, I know we have heard a lot about MMP and that it has brought lots of Māori into Parliament, and that should be applauded, and it is applauded. Just likewise, the, the diversity across our uh, New Zealand society. Um, but, sir, the Māori electorates guarantee that we have a Māori voice in Parliament, and those voices are accountable to Māori. So there is a difference, sir. There is a difference between Māori MPs of, and I don't mean that in a, in a disrespectful manner, but Māori electorate MPs are accountable to Māori, and that is the key difference. And it, we, are there to, we are here to ensure that we have to fight for Māori kaupapa. And that has long been the case. Over the 150 years, as we go and we look at all of those illustrious photos that adorn um, Mātangi Reia and through the halls of this house, sir. So each of us as members of parliament, we leave our impact and our imprint on this place in many different ways. And I'm seeking to leave my imprint, sir, through this bill to ensure that the Māori electorate seats are treated the same. And, sir, there is talk uh, under this bill. We are putting in the provisions that create and divide up the Māori seats into an entrenched provision. Now, by doing that, sir, it, um, we want to ensure that we can get that, not only that protection in place, but that we can uh, future-proof the Māori in this House of Parliament. And that's what this is all about. It's about guaranteeing our equal place. It is about the treaty rights and is it ensuring that our Māori seats have a future. And there is also an option in the, that entrenched provision for there to be a referendum. And that's nothing new. Governments can initiate referendums at any time on any matter that they deem fit. So that is um, part of the um, entrenched provision, um, and that is uh, perfectly understandable. However, sir, the future of the Māori seats, there is already a de facto a referendum already carried out. We do it every five years, and that is by way of the Māori option. And Māori have responded positively. Over a quarter of a million Māori have responded that they want the Māori seats by being on the Māori roll. By having the Māori option, Māori have a say and must be the only ones that have a say in, t in terms of the future of the Māori seats. And we have gone through that process. Māori have spoken and they support the seats. They want them to continue. And all as we are doing here with this bill, sir, is ensuring that we are treated the same and that we want the same legal status and same legal protection. We shouldn't have a double standard when it comes to uh, the members of this House, electorate members. And so I want to implore this House and all the parties that make up this current parliament to put aside political differences and think of the constitution, think of giving the history, the proud history of Māori rights that equal protection and equal um, rights, just as we have. We just want to be treated just the same as the general seat, sir. And so uh, I just want to conclude, sir, by saying, he taonga 
ngā tūru Māori. Māori seats, our Māori seats are a treasure. Neke atu i te kotahi rau tau te tawhito. They've been around for well over a hundred years. He mana tō ngā tūru Māori. My Māori seats still have mana. He taonga whakahirahira. They are a treasured taonga of our people and of this country. Me whakamana ki te ture. Let's entrench them in the law through this bill. Nō reira, mihi atu ki a koutou te whare, I commend this bill to the House. Kia ora tātou. The question is that the motion be agreed uh, to. Mr I, Speaker. I call the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, Mr Speaker, can I first compliment...